welcome to my modding quick start guide. I have a mod pack for everybody here of what I use that works pretty well. They're all pretty balanced, so you don't have to feel like you're cheating or anything. Now, to get to the folder in the first place, you will want to right click on Lethal Company, hit Properties, go to Installed Files, and then hit Browse. What that will do is open this folder here on the left which is in your program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Lethal Company. And this is where you want to be in the Lethal Company section right here. So I'm going to just delete my Bepinex folder, which is the mods. Come here to my mod pack and you grab everything in the Lethal Company folder in the mod pack and put it in the Lethal Company folder. So your game should look like this. The mods are in the Bepinex folder. Now, you will need to configure these depending on your setup. So, I'm going to go over the plugins first to show what we've got. Then, I'll go to the configurations and then I will show them in game to show you what they do and what hotkeys may have changed. First, we've got HD Lethal Company. This makes your game sharper. It looks HD. It will make it harder to run, so you may need to configure this. More suits. This adds a big suit rack, which you'll see in game. Ship loot. This is a nice little plugin that summarizes the value of your entire ship when you scan in the ship. Always hear walkie. This makes the walkie-talkie broadcast what it's hearing to other players around it. So you can talk to someone on a walkie and the whole inside group would hear it. It's pretty nice. Flashlight toggle. Press F to toggle your flashlight no matter what you have out. Very nice quality of life. Helmet camera. This is a fun one. It makes the monitor to the right of the radar in the ship display the first person camera of whoever is selected on the radar. So this is really cool. You will need to configure this as well. Hotbar Plus allows you to use 1234 to select your items. May have issues if the host of a server doesn't have it. It may not work. This will also rebind your emotes to F1 and F2. Let me look down. This lets you look more down. It's nice. More suits. This adds more suits. I already talked about that. Okay, yeah. Skip to multiplayer menu. That will just skip to multiplayer menu. Now let's look at the configs here. I'm going to show you how to edit these. So we've got the HD Lethal Company. So you will need to look through these one by one and figure out which of these is best for your system, how high you want to go. You can change a lot of different things and make the game harder to run. Helmet cameras. This also has a big impact on FPS. I have mine set to 30 right now with mid-quality resolution. This is the default in the pack. You may want to increase this. I, I might actually run with this maxed out, which would be for max quality monitor resolution if I wanted to be the terminal dude. And I might even do 60 FPS, and then you just save it. This will make it harder to run. You'll have to watch out depending on your computer. So tinker with that, see what's good for you. Now we'll head in game. All right, we in here. As you can see, the helmet cam is already working. You have the infinite monitor tunnel. Very nice. This will show the camera of anyone that you have selected with this button which is very fun for the terminal guy. Then you have ship loot. You can see at the bottom right, it is summarizing my entire ship savings. With Hotbar Plus, notice how I can do whatever I want here and pick it. And with the flashlight mod, I can just hit F to toggle it on and off, which is super nice as I don't have to swap to it. Turn it on and then swap back. Here are some of the suits. They look pretty nice. I have in the default pack here. You can add more if you want, but be careful as you will have to have the exact same setup as your friends. Also, if one of your friends or more or you are using the mod manager and some other of your friends are not, even if you're using the same pack, there can be weird issues. I was having that, so I recommend all doing one or the other. 
I'm busy. Get out of here. Now, if you choose to put the more company folder in the plugins folder, it's like I say in the name of the folder, warning, move into plugins if desired. This hides regular servers. So when you have this on, you will have more company server list and you can play with a lot more than four people. It's pretty cool. There's little cosmetics you can equip. I'll show you here. So now, as you can see, this is more company. You have a little button down here to put on cosmetics. As many as you want. Which show up to other players that also have this mod. That's pretty cool. I risked clicking the server list and seeing what horrors awaited. Luckily, nothing that I need to censor. But yeah, you can play with a lot more people here. If you don't want to play more company at the time, and you wish to see the regular four-player servers, then just move more company back out of the folder. Move it up one folder back to Bepinex, where it will wait until you do. Now, there are some issues that can arise playing mods. You might crash or other things. The game can crash on its own for regular reasons, but mods can make it more likely. So you'll have to figure out what's causing it if that starts happening more often than you think is normal. If you get more mods, there can be conflictions. Some mods don't work well with other mods. The ones I have work fairly well together. If you wish to update them, just go to one of the mod sites like thunderstore.io and go to the Lethal Company mod sections. I download them manually and just extract them and put them over the old stuff. It seems more annoying than the mod manager, but I don't like the mod manager, so I do it manually. You can do it however you want, but the mod manager does appear to have some conflicts with people who aren't using it. So good luck out there. I'll try to update the mod pack from time to time, and the description will have an updated time if I do so. Here's some cats in the background. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll put some videos I think you might want to see in the little links here at the end of the video. I worked really hard on them. I hope you like them.